I'm Pot Addict from Pot Addict's Blind Hog Barbecue, and today we're making tacos. Now, my channel is a barbecue channel, but today we're trying to include people that might not have a smoker. I'm cooking a pork butt in the crock pot, but make no mistake about it, you could do this in the oven, your Dutch oven, or even your smoker. I'll show you how to cook it up in your crock pot, and then we'll prepare the tacos on top of my Blackstone. But again, for those that don't have a flat top, just make them in a skillet. Now, of course, a big advantage to the crock pot is that it doesn't need a whole lot of supervision. Start it cooking before you go to work, and then when you come home, you'll be able to make those great tacos for supper. First thing we're gonna be doing is making our rub. Add in one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, or you could use granulated garlic powder. They are interchangeable on a one-to-one -one basis. Add one teaspoon ground cumin, a half teaspoon crumbled dried oregano, a half teaspoon ground coriander, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now pour that rub into an empty shaker bottle and give it a good shake. This recipe calls for a small pork butt in the four pound range and this one weighs in at four and a half pounds and it's got the bone in. It's been frozen and now it's completely defrosted. So we want to open it up and then dry it off with paper towels. When it's dry, then look it over and if there's any areas of excess fat or loose tags, we want to take care of that. You see this tag? Now I'm through trimming. Season the pork butt on all sides with that rub that we just made. You want to pat it in. You can use every bit of this rub unless your pork butt's a whole lot smaller than four pounds. Once it's seasoned up, then place it into your slow cooker. Now I'm adding in two cups of chicken bouillon, and we're using Knorr chicken bouillon to do this. It calls for two cups of water, and we would use one and a half teaspoons of bouillon for that. Mix up that bouillon and then carefully pour it in. Being careful not to wash off any of the rub from the pork butt. Now, if you don't happen to have chicken bouillon, then just substitute in some chicken broth and then put your lid on the crock pot. Set the heat to low, and I'm setting it for 10 hours. Now, I'll be probing this pork butt with the Meat Stick 4X wireless meat thermometer, and this isn't necessary, but I'm going to be getting feedback on all my cooks, so the Meat Stick 4X will keep me posted on the internal temperature as well as that ambient temperature. We'll just see what's going on inside that slow cooker. Now, all we got to do is wait until we reach that five hour mark, now it's recommended to turn the pork butt over at five hours. And now that we've reached the five hour mark, that's exactly what we're gonna do. In and out as quickly as possible. And now if you're at work and the slow cooker's at home, well then just skip that step. Okay, since I have the internal temperature information, then I'm gonna be cooking to 202 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if you don't have it probed or if your cook is by time only, then just cook it for 10 hours. Or you could even go a little more if you have to. Probe is let me know that we're a little ahead of that 10 hour schedule. So that temperature is reading 202 degrees after nine hours and 11 minutes. And now I'll verify that temperature and the tenderness with my thermopin. The temperature is perfect and as you can see, it probes very tender. There's no bark to penetrate, so that probe just goes in there almost with no resistance at all. Now move it out of the crock pot, place it on a cooling rack, and we'll let it rest for 15 to 30 minutes. And you can see how that pork butt's coming apart just from me picking it up. It is very, very tender. You want to take that liquid out of the slow cooker, pour it up into another container. And there's a lot of floaties in there, so I'm just going to strain them out. The liquid can be used on your pork, and we're also going to need some of it for making our tacos. Now, if your pork butt's got the bone in, you got to pull it out, and it should slip right out. But be careful because it's still plenty hot. Okay, we want to shred it with some forks. Now I'll be using my bear claws. These are my guilty pleasure. And they came with the first meat grinder that I ever bought. That was some time ago. And I kind of laughed at these things until I found out how much I really, really liked them. They would be especially useful if you got multiple pork butts to shred. And if you're interested in these, I'll leave a link right down below. 
Now let's get some tacos made. I'm gonna fire up the Blackstone on low to medium heat. I'm gonna use a skillet to keep some of that liquid that we save. We wanna keep it warm. Definitely keep that part on low heat. And any solidified fat that's in there is gonna quickly melt away into your solution. Probably wanna add a light coating of cooking oil on your grill. Now our pork butt is cooked, but it has no color. So we're gonna place a suitable amount on your flat top and then add just a little bit of that liquid that we saved. And as that meat cooks, you want to give it an occasional turn. And when it starts to show some color, then you want to take your corn tortillas, dip them into that skillet with the liquid. You want to get them wet on both sides. Now get those tortillas in and out and on to the flat top. And if you take too long, well then they're going to soak up a lot of liquid and that tortilla will come apart. But understand, you got plenty of time, but you just don't have all day. And also, I recommend the corn tortillas, but that's up to you. That's a personal choice. Now, I like to do three tortillas at a time. Once that side that's on the grill starts to show some color, then you want to work that spatula underneath there and flip them over. And when you got them flipped, then start off by adding your grated cheese. And now, of course, we gotta add some pork, and it should have some good color by now. But don't forget to keep that pile turned over. And then I like to add in the white onions, cilantro, salsa, and guacamole. And a little lime juice is always a nice touch. Now it's your party, so you can add whatever you like as long as you got enough room on that taco. And I like to add some sriracha sauce on mine, and that is exactly like putting a star on top of your Christmas tree. It makes it perfect. Now very carefully do the fold over, then flip it over on the other side, and then they're ready to come off. Like I said before, you don't have to have a smoker for this. We're using a crock pot. And I'm using the flat top, but you don't have to use a flat top. You could make them in a skillet. And no matter how you get there, it's worth making. You'll be glad you did. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.